Next is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Fourth chapter, text number one through two, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on May 9th, 1969, in Columbus, Ohio. Bhagavad Gita, chapter number four, transcendental knowledge. One, the Blessed Lord said, I instructed this imperishable science of yoga to the Son of God, Vivaswan, and Vivaswan instructed it to Manu, the father of mankind, and Manu in turn instructed it to Vishapu. <coughs> Report. Herein we find the history of the Bhagavad Gita traced from a remote time when it was delivered to the kings of all planets. The royal order is especially dedicated to the protection of the inhabitants, and as such, its members should also understand the science of the Bhagavad Gita in order to rule the citizens and protect them from the onslaught of material bondage to lust. Human life is meant for cultivation of spiritual knowledge, an eternal relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and the executive heads of all states and all planets are obliged to impart this lesson to the citizens by education, culture, and devotion. Mm. In other words... Uh, no. <coughs> So, in this verse, <coughs> the exact word is Mam Vivasati Yugam Prak Krutvana Vabhyam Vivasan Manavi Praha Manu Vikhata Vibravi Evang Parampara Praktam Himang Raja Sayo Vidu Sakalini Yuga Nasya Parantava So, this Bhagavad Gita, science of Bhagavad Gita, is not a new presentation, just from this verse you can understand that it was instructed to the some God. <coughs> some God apart from what is the duration of age of some God, but from the mono, because the next word, the next statement is Vivasan Manave Prah. Uh, Vivasan, the sun god's name is Vivasan. <coughs> Just like your, uh, the chief executive head is called the president. Similarly, uh, there is a chief executive head also in the sun planet, president. And the present president's <coughs> name is, just like your present president's name is Nixon Nixon. Similarly, the present predominating deity in the sun planet is known as Vivasa. <coughs> so everything is in detail. This is called Vedic literature. Vedic literature is not concerned only with this planet. <coughs> Vedic literature deals uh, with all the universal planets. Just see, here is the statement. Krishna says that in the beginning I explained the science a Bhagavad Gita to the present predominating deity of sun planet whose name is Vivasa. Do you think that Krishna is playing joke or speaking something lie that uh, he said to Vivasa, the present presiding deity? No, that is not possible. <coughs> Actually, he has spoken. Oh. And Krishna, once others may think of Krishna, Avajananti Mangamurha, rascals and fools may, may think of Krishna as ordinary man. But uh, in India, the great Acharya, just like Shankara Acharya, Ramanuja Acharya, Madhya Acharya, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Practically, these acharyas are guiding the whole destiny of the Hindu world. They have all accepted Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. <coughs> so, 
whatever Krishna is speaking, that is right. Now you can understand that if Krishna spoke to the sun god and the sun god spoke to his son Manu, then how old is the science of Bhagavati? Apart from sun god's vibration of age, if you simply take the present age, Vaivasata Manu, Vaivasata Manu, uh, the age of Vaivasata Manu is seventy-one multiplied by uh, forty-three hundred thousand years. <coughs> forty-three hundred thousand of years multiplied by seventy-one. It's a very long duration of life. Now, now, at the present moment, uh, uh, the divasa, the vivasa of manos is, is half finished. That means, uh, the number, the numerical strength, uh, forty-three hundred thousand of years into seventy-one, uh, divided by two, so long years Bhagavad Gita was performed. So Bhagavad Gita is not a new thing, it is a new adventure. <coughs> and the person who spoke Bhagavad Gita to the sun god, does it mean that he left something to be commented by some this mundane man to understand the meaning of the Bhagavad Gita. Such a great personality, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he told something which is to be understood by the interpretation of a mundane scholar. Do you think it is reasonable? No. Whatever he spoke, that is all. And that is clear. There is no question of interpreting in a different way. Uh, just like here, the Blessed Lord said, I instructed this imperishable science of yoga to the sun god Vimusha. What is difficulty there? Is there any word which you cannot understand? Is anyone here who cannot understand these lines? It is clear. The Blessed Lord said, I instruct in the principle science of yoga to the sun god Bhuvasa. Everyone can understand that Krishna instructed this science uh, of Bhagavad Gita or the yoga of Bhagavad Gita to the sun god whose name is Bhuvasa. It is clear how you can interpret. Now the thing is, unless I think of Krishna that he is an ordinary man, <coughs> how he could say to the sun god, devotion? Then the interpretation is required. But that sort of thinking is uh, not bona fide. Because if you want to study Bhagavad Gita, you have to take the words of Bhagavad Gita. Uh, the blessed Lord, he is Lord, he, he can say, the Lord is not uh, like ordinary man. Uh, that, uh, because we cannot say to the sun God, therefore Krishna cannot say, that is our foolish man. Why should we calculate Krishna's activity with my activity? Uh, that for all the commentary who think Krishna as ordinary man, they are none and void. That commentary should, should not be accepted. We have explained in our introduction that <clears throat> all the commentaries in the market, they are simply presentation of the particular commentator's personal view. That is not Bhagavad Gita. If you want to understand Bhagavad Gita, then you should understand as they are said. You don't interpret in your own way. 
Now, because there should be some doubt of the ordinary man that how Krishna could say to the Son God, that is explained in the next verse. Uh, because Ajot was taking instruction from Krishna. He knew Krishna, what he is. Otherwise, he would not have accepted him as a spiritual master. But because others should doubt, uh, this is fictitious, that Krishna said to the Son God, how it is possible. So, you will find, Arjuna said, the Son God Vibhasar is senior by birth to you. How am I to understand that in the beginning you instructed the science to him? Ah. Krishna is taking our position. Hey, Arjuna. Persons who are thinking of Krishna as ordinary person. So Arjuna is trying to clear that point that Krishna is not ordinary person. He is the Supreme Personality of God. Therefore he has put this question. That the Son God Vivasan is senior by birth to you. Son God Vivasan, the Son planet, father of Manu, Manu's age he cannot calculate about forty millions of years ago. Uh, Manu was born, and his father, we do not know what is his age. So how it is possible that Krishna is ordinary man, he spoke to him. That is being clear. Uh, so what he answered? The Blessed Lord said, many, many births, both you and I have passed. I can remember all of them, but you cannot. That is the difference between God and man. <coughs> that is the difference between God and man. We cannot remember, even we cannot remember what I did at this time, yesterday. That is our forgetfulness, is our nature. <coughs> to commit mistake, to forget, to be illusory, to be cheated in perfection of senses, these are our qualifications. <coughs> Every one of us, anyone who is in this material world, they are subjected to these defects. He is sure to commit mistake, to aid his human. He is subjected to be illusory. And he, he has a cheating propensity. That's like a mundane scholar, ah, I do not wish to name, a mundane scholar, he admits his introduction that it is very difficult to interpret Bhagavad Gita in one's own way. It is so tightly ah, fitted. Actually it is so. Unless you contradict yourself, you cannot interpret Bhagavad Gita according to your own way. <coughs> so, Arjuna is clearing that, and Krishna is saying, the difference is that I take, I appear, as you'll find later on, Krishna says, yada yada hi dharma sadhyani bhavati bharata sadatmanam sujyam. Whenever there is discrepancies, in the procedure of religious function, and there is predominance of irreligiosity. At that time, God or that representative comes to this world to make things nice. So, Krishna appears. Ah, Krishna appears and we also appear. But our appearance and Krishna's appearance is different. We have accepted this body, we have appeared in this world, forced by our karma, according to our past deeds. Just that we are sitting, every one of us has different features of body. Why? According to different karma, the body is made according to karma. 
That is the explanation of difference. So we cannot know. We can understand that your mentality, my mentality is different. You act in different way, I act in different way. That is the way. Everyone of Therefore, we are forced to accept a certain type of body according to our own karma. But Krishna does not. We change our body. That's why to understand. This forgetfulness means change of body. Just like we have some certain type of body in our previous life, but we do not know. For the forgot. Because I have changed the body, therefore I forgot. What to speak of my last bath? In, in your childhood, when you are say three or four years old, you did so many things. But do you remember them? No. Because you have changed the body. That body is gone. Therefore, you have forgot. Forgetfulness means change of body. You are changing body every second, every minute. Therefore, you are forgetting. And Krishna does not forget, that means he does not change body. This is pure understanding of Krishna. Krishna says that many, many births, both you and I have passed. I can remember all of them. Ah, many, many. Thousands and thousands of times Krishna appeared on this world. But he remembers everything. And I cannot remember about my childhood. So how can I become one with Krishna? This Mahavadi philosopher is declaring that I am God. How you can, what is your qualification that you become God? God is not so cheap thing. Uh, people have technique that everyone can become God. Everyone of us God. This is another illusion. Another Maya. Because you do not know what is God. Here is God. He says, that many, many millions of years ago I spoke to Son God. I remember it. This is God. Simple truth. Oh. This is the proof that he is God. Oh. Is it? Is it? In the Brahma Sangha. Is it? Oh. Hmm. In the Brahma Sangha, we have information of many, many incarnations of the Lord. It is stated there, I worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Govinda, Krishna. He was the original person, absolute, infallible, without beginning, although expanded into unlimited forms, still the same, original, the oldest, and the person always appearing as a fresh use. The exact word in Sanskrit word is Adhaitayatita Anadi Ananta Rupam Hadyam Purana Purusang Navajovanancha Vedesu Dullavadur Lavayatva Vakto Govindam Adipurisam Tamaham Bhajami Advaita. Advaita means Krishna expands himself. Krishna can expand himself. That is not. Just like <coughs> I am sitting here, you are sitting here. Suppose you are wanted by uh, your some relative at home. But uh, if somebody inquires, then Mr. Sutton says he's at home, so he, he replies, you know, he's not at home. But Krishna is not like that. Krishna, Golokayova Nibhasati Akila Atma Bhuta. He is present everywhere. <coughs> it is not that because Krishna was speaking with Arjun in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, Therefore, he was not in the Goloka or Vaikuntha. Not only Goloka, Vaikuntha, everywhere he is finding the Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> Krishna is here also. Now, he is Sara Sarva Bhutana, Vidyashi Arjuna, Tishpati. Krishna is everyone's heart. In your heart there is Krishna. 
in my heart he is Krishna, everyone. So Krishna is not like that. Therefore, Advaita Chitra Anadi Anantam. Ananta means unlimited. Yeah. But one Advaita, there is no difference. That's like the electricity power. I give you a crude example. Yeah. Unlimited. Factories are running in electricity. Ah. Different types of work is being utilized by electric energy. But the electricity is work. Similarly, God is work. But he can expand. That is his potency. Parasa Sakti Bhirudhai Vasurati. In the Bhagavad Gita I will understand in the 13th chapter <coughs> that Krishna says, Kitra-dhancha-māna-vidhi sarva-setra-isu-bhārat. The living entity, I am living entity, you are living entity, every one of us, I am living in this body, you are living in this body, yeah, we have got different bodies. So Krishna says that the living entity is the proprietor or the knower of the particular body. But he says again, Ketraddhan Chapi Mangaditi. I am also knower of this particular body. Sarva Setri Subharata. In every, every body. Annantara Sang Paramana Chatra. He is in every body, in every atom. That is it. Now, I am living in my body. If there is pain here, I can understand here is a pain. But if there is some pain in your body, I cannot understand. Therefore, I am different from you. But Krishna can understand what is pain or pleasure in my body and what is pain upon your body and everyone's body. That is Krishna. Sarvathe Ah, that is God. Ah. Not that simply by saying, I am God. I am saying God. But how you can God? Can you tell what I am thinking? Can you tell what he is thinking? No. Then how, what kind of God you are? Don't accept that cheap God. These are the symptoms of God. Addaita yachyati anadi ananta rupa. He is an ananta. Unlimited. There are unlimited living entities. In the Vedas it is said, Mitra, Mityana, Chitana, Chitanana. There are unlimited living entities. Oh, unlimited eternal. <coughs> but there is one, another, one supreme eternal, supreme entity. Oh. Oh, what is the difference between this? The unlimited number of plural number? And one singular number, uh, that is also answer. Ekahi, ekahi mohunam vidadhati kama. That singular number one entity is supplying the, all the necessities of all the plural number entities. We are all plural number entities. The living entities, we are plural number. Nitya, nityana. This nityana is plural number. What is it? In fact, and he is Mitra, he is one, similar number. Eka bhunam vidadati kama. That one he is supplying the necessities of all. Don't you see uh, how God is supplying all the necessities of birds, bees, and everyone? Ourselves, we don't acknowledge. Because we are civilized, we are. We do not acknowledge. The birds, bees also does not, do not acknowledge. But because they are birds and bees, so you are just becoming like birds and bees, denying the existence of God, denying the authority of God. We are taking advantage. Vidabhati Kama. He, Krishna, does not supply you this life, some life, he does. But he does not charge anything. But because you are human being, you should try to repay, oh, Krishna is giving us so much facility, uh, let me render some service unto you. This is Krishna consciousness. 
This is to acknowledge. Oh God, you are so kind. You are giving us so many things. <coughs> so I have collected this fruit. It is your fruit. I know. I still please accept. This is finish your business. You are a great devotee. You are a great Krishna conscious rationality. And Krishna says, Patram Pushpam Phalam Toyam Jyomi Bhaktya Prajit Krishna does not want you, from you. Very nice thing, Krishna is complete in himself. He can produce many, many nice things. He is not begging from you, but still he is expecting something from you. Because he is supplying so many things. Huh. Is it not? Suppose if you have got a friend, you always give it. Don't you expect something? Oh, I give so many things to my friend. He does not offer me any. Don't you feel out of love? Father, uh, mother, uh, they do so many things for the children. If the children do not do anything for the father and mother, are they not happy? Are they happy? No. They are not. Oh, my children. So, hundred. Although he does not work. Krishna is full in himself. But <coughs> if we supply something to Krishna, Krishna's goods, Krishna appears to be supplied to Krishna. The food is not produced by you. Krishna says, Vatram Pushram Phalam Toyam Jyumi Bhakti Apajitsi. Anyone who offers me a little fruit, a little water, and little leaf, oh, I accept. Sadaham Asnami, Bhaktiya Upanishad, because he has brought with devotion and love, I accept. Uh, if Krishna accepts your offering, then your life becomes sublime. Uh, that is the problem. Simply you should have to acknowledge we are getting so many facilities from Krishna. Uh, he is sitting in your heart. <coughs> he is supplying all necessities. He is giving you sunlight. He is giving you moonlight. He is giving you rainy, uh, seasonal rains, fruits, flowers, rain. And you are so ungrateful that you do not acknowledge. <coughs> in your Christian Bible also, it is said, you go to church, Oh God, give us our daily bread. That's all right. Krishna is supplying bread, otherwise where from you are getting bread? No. You cannot manufacture bread in the factory or wheat or rice. You can manufacture some iron tools, that's all, not eatable. But you cannot manufacture nice grain. That is not possible. It is supplied by Krishna. Eko bhavnam vidyatikam. So try to understand in this way. Krishna consciousness, God consciousness. Uh, then your dormant relationship with God and Krishna will be revived. Kita Dattvana Marjanam, Lord Chaitanya says, by revival of Krishna consciousness means the dirty things accumulated on our heart will be dissipated immediately, ready. Then we shall see, oh, this is my position. I am Krishna and Krishna is mine. Uh, so, although Krishna is present everywhere, uh, as it is stated here, Advaita Ananta Rupam Adyam Purana Purusam. Adyam means the original personality. Krishna is the original father. In fine in Bhagavad Gita, Sarva Juni Shukantiya Sambhavanti Murtaya. In every species of life, all types of forms of life, then mother is this material nature, and I am the seed giving father. The father is the seed giving agent, and mother is the body. So this material nature is our mother. According to Vedic conception, the material nature, mother is worship. There are seven kinds of mother. Oh, not one mother. 
आदो माता गुरु पत्नी ब्राह्मणी राजपत्नी का मेनु धात्री तथा पृथ्वी सत्वी थे मातर स्मिता आदो माता रियल माता सब हो वाहते तुम बात आदो माता गुरु पत्नी दी वाइफ ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर आदो माता गुरु पत्नी ब्राह्मणी ब्राह्मणी दी वाइफ ऑफ ए ब्राह्मी लाने स्कॉल आदो माता गुरु पत्नी वाइ लाने स्कॉल ही रहस गुरु बिकॉज़ फ्रॉम लाने स्कॉल आर लर्न सो मेनी थिंग्स एंड गुरु टीचर सर सम थिंग्स दे फॉर हिज फादर एंड हिज वाइफ इज मदर आदो माता गुरु पत्नी ब्राह्मणी राजपत्नी राजपत्नी एंड द क्वीन and now there is no king and queen but formerly there was king and queen the queen is also mother because king is father he is giving protection to the citizen hadu mata gurupatni brahmani rajaputi ka dhenu kau kau is our mother why he supplies milk you are drinking milk yeah. so you are killing cow so that's not so killing mother आदो माता गुरु पत्नी ब्राह्मणी राजपत्नी धात्री तथा पृथ्वी पृथ्वी दैट मेटीरियल नेचर इज ऑल्सो माता बिकॉज बाई द मेटीरियल नेचर एज ऑफ दिस बॉडी सो इफ यू स्टडी वेरी लिटरेचर वेरी नाइस एंड इफ यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड देन योर लाइफ विल बी सब नॉन सो दिस कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस मोमेंट इज Trying to give you all the authoritative information from Vedic literature. They are not manufacturing anything. Uh, they are not uh, empiric philosophers presenting something mental concoction. No. Therefore, this Bhagavad Gita is presented. Bhagavad Gita is it is. It is our business. Just like a postman, businessy, to deliver the envelope as it is, uh, and if there is good news, it is for you. If it is bad news, it is for you. But the postman businessy to deliver as it is. Similarly, our businessy to present Krishna's message as it is. Then he becomes spiritual master. Spiritual master has does not become grown just like tree. No, it is carrying the message from higher authority, as it is said. I told this message, Krishna said, to Bhimasha, the son God. He told to his son, Ik Maya Manu. Manu told to his son, Ik Hatu. In this way, this is coming now. Now it is broken. Therefore, I am saying unto you, Ajjo. So there is no difficulty in administering this Vedic message to the world, provided we simply carry the same message as it was delivered by Krishna unto. That is not very easy. Anyone can do it. We simply try to understand Bhagavad Gita and speak and distribute it. Krishna uh, says this. That's all. You haven't got to comment or add anything, something. Uh, <coughs> but to present, you can speak something. But the central point you should not be missed. Then people will be benefited. Uh, then people will be benefited. They will receive the message as it is. And uh, this is transcendental message. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says. हमार अग्गाय गुरु हैया तारो सर्वदेश जारे दाखो तारे कहो कृष्ण उपदेश गॉड चैतन्य से दैट एवरी वन ऑफ यू बिकम द स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर एवरी वन व्हाई वन टू एवरी वन ऑफ ओ स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट जॉब नो नो डिफिकल्ट जॉब चैतन्य मास हमार अग्गाय जस्ट ट्राई टू कैरी आउट माय ऑर्डर दैट्स ऑल देन ही बिकम स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर And if you interpolate, if you put something nonsense, rubbish, to show your so-called rascal education, then it's spoiled. Immediately spoiled. Oh, immediately spoiled. 
and as if you present that it is, then it is pure. Tatpachishta payodatha avaishnava mukhadgirna puta harikatha amritam harikatha, this message of Bhagavad Gita is harikatha. Hari means the Supreme Lord, his word. Therefore it is word. That do not try to hear this basis of Hari or the Supreme Lord from rational non devotion Do not try to hear. Why? Satpachishta payojatha. Just like milk is very nutritious food, but if a little uh, milk is touched by the tongue of a serpent, the whole thing is gone. A serpent, a very thin tongue, if it touches the milk, or the whole milk is part. So, if it takes such milk, or milk is very nice. No, because it is touched by the serpent's meat, it should not be touched. Similarly, any transcendental message, any Vedic literature, unless it is presented by a self-realized devotee, it is poison. You simply misunderstand the whole thing and you do not get the benefit, rather you become a victim of misunderstanding.